now we'll discuss the surface integral surface integral i can denote it with the help of two distorted as symbol or i can write here s and distorted as and put at the bottom of this s or i can this is representing both representing open surface integral or i can write if i put here n circle on this two distorted symbol then or i can put here single and distorted as and uh, put uh, uh, and circle it and put as here this both represent the closed surface integral and with the help of this surface integral we can calculate this flux or current which passing through any surface for example a surface area and we know that what is the flux flux is basically representing that number of lines that intersect a given area which we call it is flux or similarly you can for example if i want to calculate that uh, the flux how we can calculate for example if this is a surface i have considered here and i denote it with the area a is representing area this one so in order to calculate the flux here i will divide this whole surface with the small elemental areas elemental areas so for example here this is i have denoted with this da1 da2 da3 da4 5 like that and here this i will this uh, area element uh, here we will consider this area element da1 or dan this is very small we will consider very small in magnitude and uh, we will consider it as a vector having direction normal to the surface and this can denote uh, with the direction of this area element we denote with n unit vector okay and similarly here this is for da for n1 similarly area element uh, uh, i will denote with the direction with n2 unit vector n3 unit vector like that and angle between this electric field lines for example here this is an electric field lines we denoting in this direction here and it makes angle with theta with this so the what will be the projection of this area element what is the projection of this area element normal to this e we can denote it with uh, the projection projection of the area element normal to the e has this da cos theta 1 for element a similarly for the similarly for the second i can write the da 2 cos theta 2 like this similarly for the total flux in order to calculate the total flux we can sum up all these uh, uh, no no this is the projection basically this is projection for the da element and this is the projection for the second element and in order to calculate what will be the flux flux will be we can write uh, the flux is uh, through the area element through this da element i can write which is equal to the e1 da1 cos theta1 or we can write this in term of dot product here i can we can write in term of dot product dot product okay so this is representing the flux through only one element surface element that is da1 and far from the second area element da2 and 2 here 1 that is e2 da2 cos theta2 similarly like this and similar by adding all these area elements we can get the total flux that is given by the sum of this by adding all these and again in similar fashion as we did in the line integral uh, uh, 
topic if we consider that these area element if they approaches to zero we can rewrite or i can write this is in term of summation also this is i is equal to 1 to n e i dot d a i n i into t so this we can also write this equivalent this is in term of summation and if i now consider this area element the approaches to zero we can rewrite this expression in term of the line you know in term of surface integral that is e dot da and if we consider that the surfaces which we have used this surface if the surface is closed if i consider it is closed then i have to put here and circle this integral integration sign like this e dot da so this will give me the total flux that is interact intercepting this total area in that is given by this expression so with the help of this surface integral we can calculate